Here at 10 News, we're committed to highlighting the positive in our community. And tonight, our Amanda Brandeis met up with a group of first graders who are getting their hands dirty in order to put food on the table for hundreds. It's big! Oh, God, I've got it. I can get, oh, I can get it. I've never seen kids more excited about vegetables Radish heroes! than inside this garden. If you can't tell, they're chanting Radish Heroes. Oh These are the biggest, chunkiest carrots in the universe. They're produce goods smallest harvest heroes. Oh! Hang on guys, there's something really deep in here. But we've never ever had kids who specifically have grown food for their hungry neighbors. Nita Kermans Gilson is a produce good co-founder. The nonprofit typically recovers food from orchards, farmers markets and small farms to help people who may not know where their next meal is coming from. Their enthusiasm for every single thing that they pulled out of the ground, the miracle of like growing something was just amazing. Three, two, one. Yeah! Seven year old Vander explains it's their job to tend to the garden. We harvest huge carrot. I see that the, the garden is kind of a vehicle to learn other things. Like Jonathan Cardos is the district's organic gardening instructor. Their natural ecosystems, how to grow food. Um, we do a lot of talk about food justice. When they had too much, the class decided to donate some to the Encinitas Community Resource Center, which helps fragile communities. Happy, happy and good. Here, the seeds are being planted for a healthy and sustainable future. Awesome. From the Cardiff Elementary Garden. Harvest Hero! Amanda Brandeis, mm -hmm. 10 News. I like that they're just enthusiastic about I this. I know. I feel like eating some radishes and carrots <laughs> now. It worked. All those students donated 100 pounds of produce, which will provide 300 meals. That is great news. <laughs>